people, whatever. And this cook, he was an Israeli guy, I think he had a kippah through guy. He was like, you know, not, not, he was a Ishbaka guy, a sweetie. He was like, and he told me one day that the yeshiva was, uh, there was no air conditioner. So the, all the guys, all the Bachran, came to learn in the dining room. It was cooler in the dining room. They couldn't learn a base bedrash. And he told me, this yiddel should be gebenched. He told me. He came out of the kitchen, and he sat down for four hours, and he watched them learn. Ah! I said, I know from this simple Jew. I like that stuff. Watch him, watch, enjoy. You want to have fun? Go into BMG and watch and enjoy. You'll get Elam Haba. You'll get Elam Haba when you'll have Ayan Teva for the Abishta's success that he has today. So many B'nai Teva, so many holy, holy Jews all over the place, all over the world. Ugh. And the Balabatim, there's Balabatim that are Kedish Kedoshim. There's Balabatim. There's men and ladies. There's a little kindalach that are holy. I was on the phone with a 15-year-old little booby. <laughs> These kids today, my shviga, shalom. She told me that, you know, at first, the Hungarians, you know, come back to oh, America. <laughs> you know what Yiddish guy is. You guys don't know anything, you know. Oh, <laughs> oh never what we lost, you know. Never we went through the Holocaust, right? I in the Heim. You know, my Schwer and Schwiger both told me, back in the Heim, they called it, back in Europe, the food tasted better. As I'll say, them, when the, since the Chorban, the food doesn't taste the same. Because the, the Tom Paris is not, you don't know what they, what they used to taste like, the best candies in the world today that you want to invent today didn't taste like the fruits of way back. Now, the Schwer and Schwiger both told me that the fruits and vegetables tasted much better. You know, my Schwer said, the kids, you know, they're sweeties. A little kid was a bubby back in the high pre-war Europe. A little kid, oh, how they didn't eat them up. A little kid, they had more chain, they had more, to their back, you know. So you or what I'm told. So before my shviga was nifta, about 30 years after, like, you know, many years later, in the later years, she gave a remark. She was watching some girls davening in shul. And she says, believe me, they're just as good as the hind. Did you hear that? I hope there's no old European Jews that heard me say that. You're not supposed to do that. I'm joking. Anyway. You know what my shrigger told me? The girls today, the way they daven with such sincerity. <coughs> <coughs> and the boys, ugh, you go into BMG, watch them learn and kvel and enjoy, enjoy the sightseeing of Lakewood, come into the biggest yeshiva in the world. They once took one of these chevra, took a bunch of ladies. Their husbands are learning. They took a bunch of girls from Yehupitz. They were on a trip. And they t on a back side door somewhere to watch the guys in second seder. The, I heard they were going out of their mind. Uh, it's a, a modern group, maybe some girls, I'm not sure what. And then the, the wives, the ladies, they hear the husbands learning 20, 30 years. They say they were crying from emotion. Look at them learn. Look at these guys learn. Rabbi Isai, you want to give Hashem nachas. Be a man that thinks for the cloth. Don't be, how's my, except for vodka, there, uh, that's my own thing, I'm joking. There, that's my private world, I want to be left alone, I need my space and drink my schnapps, I'm joking, but try to be a Isha Klal, not me, me, me. Look, think, think broad-minded. I have a Rebbe, they discovered the Rebbe McGarish and Liebman's they discovered his, his, his notes. They discovered his notes, and they made copies of it. All his Kabbalists, oh, don't ask to what a Malach he was. They had it all written down. And my, one of my Rabbeim, he doesn't like his name mentioned, 
This man is a Golo Yisrael Shein Kamoyim. He's a Riz, he's a Malach. He told me, take a look at that shtickle. One shtickle that Geshem wrote. How is Tyra in Australia? Or in Yehupitz? That's all he can think about. The broad-mindedness. What's going on in Denver? It's us. You gotta be, think, think big. What's going, what's going on in Klai Yisrael? Be a Klai Yisrael man. Chapa Shmuz. But the Abish then tell him, Abish, look what you got. Such great people. You even have me. Make sure. A Makbid. Before you get involved in this stuff. And tell Hashem. I once caught a bus once. I remember, i never forget the story. I was... I was in Yerushalayim late at night, and I had to get home, and no one's picking me up. And I'm standing, and I'm standing, no one's picking me up. I started, I tried betachem, didn't work. I tried davening, didn't work. So I'm being thankful, didn't work. Finally, he says, Ebishta, you have such wonderful Jews, boom, on the spot. The bus was there. I says, ah, oh, you want to get the Ebishta's good side? Say that type of stuff. It's so easy. Takes anything. Say, Avishti has such wonderful Jews. That's Avishti heard that. Ah, oh, I don't hear that. I'm sure he has a chasu shalom. But anyway, so I recommend that. Always tell Hashem how great. Do you know how much nachas Hashem is having for what I'm doing right now? Do you know that the Chavetz Chaim says, if you speak lashon hara on a group, uh, beware. If you're part of groups, different groups, got to be careful. Don't you dare put down another group unless you're kidding around like me. I hope we're kidding around. Those guys, I once had a whole, I don't know if you heard me, I, I, I was uh, knocking Litvox. I have, remember the jokes, making fun of Litvox? <laughs> once I knocked the Yankees, because I'm with the Litvox and with the Yankees, so I'm allowed to do it. <laughs> or anyway, you make fun. It's good, if you don't mean it. Then it's good. But the Chavetz Chaim says, Lashon Hara on a group, you're dead for every person. No? What is the Chavetz Chaim? Every year, you deal a big group. Oh, those guys, they're not, they're, they're not this, you blew it. You know how much trouble you're going to have for that? For saying you got us, the Ger Rebbe, what's his name? The Belzer Rebbe, Aaron Belzer would say, Say, I'm Chayza. Say, I'm a Vapla, what I just said now. Say, it didn't, didn't happen. I'm, I'm chayzer on the whole thing. You're playing with fire. A group. How much of you is he getting? You know, sometimes there was a lady, a Friday lady, I think the Ben Chai brings us down. Erev, Erev, um, Erev Pesach. And the Chacham passed by. There was a lady checking Romaine lettuce. Those days they didn't have positive. So you had to check, you know. So she was going, mm, boom, mm, boom, mm, boom. She was checking, you know, roaming lettuce, and she was like, she had a lot of work, the big Sephardi families. There was the Zayda and there's the Elta Zayda and the, you know, her whole family with the ants and all getting together for pizza. And she's checking the roaming lettuce. She goes, fine, next. Fine. So the Chacham passes her by. He says, lady, how many hairs do you have in your head? What's that all about? You know how many Averis you're getting? You, you can't count the hair in your head. You can't count the sins you're getting. You're not looking at it. You know how many bugs you're feeding? By the way, one bug, bugs are all pits. The bugs. It's a Gomorrah Marcus. If you eat a bug that has a water bug, five, uh, four lavin. Four Marcus. You know what that means? They whack you 39 times and you spend a couple of months in the hospital. Come back. Here comes another round. Another month in the hospital. A few months. Next, 439. Until he's half dead. That's for a water bug. Those are the easy guys. If you have an ant, the land guys, five. You want five? You know what five means? Another one? And if, you, if, if it's a flying insect, a, a, a fly, that stuff, six of it? Come on. For, that's for one of those. And lady, you're not looking at it. What's going on? Lady, you're not looking at it. You're just, you're just superfluous. You know, you, that's how many Averis you got. As many hairs you have in your head. So watch what you're doing. Okay, that's the story.
Now, how many years you have in your head if you speak on Klal Yisrael, you're going to say something bad about Klal Yisrael. A group. Oh, you don't like them. Aha. Uh -huh. And you got a million reasons. Well, listen, some things are sensitive. I, I don't mean what, uh, but a lot of people, well, the Gdailim, the Gdailim this, the Gdailim that. Uh, I want to double check the Gdailim who, what, when. I want to hear the other things he said about the same group that nobody knows about. No one enjoys talking about because it it's too positive. <laughs> I know certain groups like, there's a certain group I'm not going to discuss. How you doing? A certain group I'm not going to discuss that I know two sides. And I heard just a lot of groups like that, that the same Dalim that came out against and the same. You know what the Menchus once said? Menchus used to say, you know that. He used to say, like, like you say, uh, how's life? You, you, you show him Aleichem. He said, like water. Yamach Shemay V'zechrei was water. That was his, like, Shalom. That's this normal Sikh is cool. No, Yamach Shemay V'zechrei, Yamach Shemay, Yamach Shemay. He used to say, like, don't ask, I know things about him. My Shver was his Talmud Mavik. He was a Tzadik Yisrael Dailam. He told my Shver, you're going to survive the war, you're going to have a long life, and it, everything came true. He was a, he was a Baruch HaKai, he was nothing like him. He once said about himself, come on, Zichah. He's a Gogol of Rabbi Lazar Rabbi Shemin. Or he's a Mishayrish Neshama of Rabbi Lazar Rabbi Shemin. He was fearless when the authorities came to get him. He says, I'm not scared of them. I'm Rabbi Lazar Rabbi Shemin. I was not scared. I'm not scared. I'm him. That's something. Yeah, he was. Anyway. I used to curse left and right. I even know all the stories. I will not repeat any of them. It's not for me. I'm not going to repeat those. They're very exciting. Privately, I can tell you, they're fun. Is to what my Shver used to say, Beshame his his Rebbe. Oh boy. And he, now, he once said, Chaim Ber was his Gabai. I remember Chaim Ber. He was sugar. I can't describe him. Was he sweet? And I'm only get Rebbe's Gabba from the hay. The way he gave his hand to me, Shalom Aleichem. And he smiled, Shalom Aleichem. Chaim Ber. Anyway, that was his gabai. And he was like his sidekick, his right-hand man, Chaim Ber. He says, wherever he went, Chaim Ber comes along. Chaim Ber is man. Eid, he once said. Yechab kaim alish gishot na'yid. Yechab kaim alish gishot na'yid. You hear this? You hear this? I never cursed a Jew in my life. Chaim Ber knows. I think he once said, Kishyesh din lamata, ain din lamala. No, you guys? Any munkacha? You're the man. So anyway, so, so we don't understand. A lot of these, uh, I'm not good with not holding from those. Uh, the Capitulances are not good with that whole sugi. They don't do well. Somebody once had Tainas. Uh, how could you have in your house pictures of him and him and the same, you know, Somebody once criticized one of my chevra. How can you do that? I says, how can't you do it? What's wrong? If they don't mix, well, you don't mix, it's Pesach. I, mean, I go by Achron, so Pesach. <laughs> I mix. Anyway, so, all right, anyway, so let's get to this. Let's get to this. Now, what happens when you're talking about Klai Yisrael? You have so many Averis if you dare say something about a group. Boy, are you in hot soup on it. Look. All right, there's a horror story. I'm going to say it, Bramiza. I heard it, Bashem, and Adam Godel I don't want to spell it out in front of get everyone good and depressed. The place where Auschwitz was once a Jewish place. And there were two groups that did something very, very mechua b'yaysa just a few years before the world a oh, very nasty one group and that gets another group it was a horror story I will not say it in public not so fast it might be a mitzvah to hear it how careful you gotta be with this type of stuff Auschwitz was a Jewish city that place was a Jewish and they had oh, ho, ho, ho. drink away all my problems boondocks boondocks is chashev what's that little guy over there Who's this guy? 
Ooh. Oh, you've been sitting before? Oh, new guys. Okay, let's go. I'm Mish. By the way, I got some of his. Tip to the on my side. Oh, you brought the sauce. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. 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 Let's say thank you, Amish, for creating us. That's a good thing to say. Thank you for creating us. I hope that's delicious. It's not a Ramban that says that. You come, Briar Secha Nachna. I have these, there's Shas guys all over the place. So I never have any trouble. When I, no? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, it's a Gemara. Oh, do you shout me over there? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's. The world says, Favor for the, it's Favor for the Rishalmi. So what your Favor for means it's far flung. A guy says, I know Favor for the Yerushalmi. You know, it means you're far flung Yerushalmi somewhere. So the guy says, No, 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 no. Debus far off, and your Shami's off and out. Shami knows where he is. You're you're out of it. <laughs> anyway, if I have any trouble, I had a I had a Hasidic guy here, just over the list. He came special. He's a rush guy. He's a sweetie. He came over with fifteen Hasidic guys. I was cursing out money, rather. When he came, I was cursing out money and Gvirim. The whole I made a joke out of the whole business. Before I left, him and his fifteen Hasidic guys left one check after another with a lot of kvitlach to daven for. I walked away with $2,000, like nothing, because it looks like that's the way you're going to call out. I don't know the rules with money. <laughs> I was making fun of money, and the money called, what are you doing? Call I don't know the rules. But anyway, so he, he was terrific. He knew everything. I was saying, you know, I have no different kamaras. And um, every Gemara, he was there. That's he, he. He ended up the Chazal that I started with. He knew he, he was. He's good in learning. Anyway, so we have all these Goyim sitting around me. It's a pleasure to be in such company. These holy Jews, illustrious scholars, <laughs> Jewish scholars. We have the best people here. Anyway, and I'm gonna drink. Now let's drink. Let's do when you make a lachaim, you have in mind. All the people in each Shaduchim, every one of them, I want them married. Every one of them, and have in mind all those, let's get a Ruchnias, take a facelift. Ear, Ani Hashem Reifecha. The main Rafua is in Ruchnias. What's today's fear again? What is it? Hayyim? 21, no, it's, what's today? 22. Hayyim Shnaim, Vashim Yayim, Shayim Shloshi Yeroiz, Vyem Echad Laima. So anybody. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> you blew it. Mandel, it's 8 o'clock. It's, uh, you know. Right? Well, we, now you know my roots. My father, before a beta time, you can still squeeze in, you know. Oh, you know, with these seizures. I'm one of them. Baratali do yalir malchoilam shahakalim et baray. Lachayim. Let me try the new one. The boondocks. Everybody. Okay, it's good. Those who don't drink, I'm mighty to you. I'll drink for everybody. <laughs> when I drink, Gans Kalayasol just had a, a boost. I have a mind, everybody, it costs anything to say that? Nothing. Say it. So I say, start raving over. What a beautiful world. Yeah, Vada, Vada. Let's get the boondocks. It's very good boondocks, by the way. The boondocks, a boy side, boondocks. Boondocks has arrived. La Hayim, out of way. Boondocks, Machfelis, Don Abishta. Rabbi Sai, Rabbi Miller once said, Rabbi Levi Yitzchak from Medichev once told his Gabbai, he says, Clap, make an announcement. What, what, what? There's an Abishta. So I'm making an announcement. There's an Abishta in the world. Isn't that delicious? You should know, the more you connect with him, the Rambam in Elchus Mezuzah, that's the, the Rambam. The Heilige Rambam says, Ein Dabra Oymid La'ad Lo'ilei Lomim Ayidiyaz Tzura Oylam. You know, I'm in a good mood. You want to know why? You ready? There's a reason. I mean, when an Avartic is in a special good mood, it means he had an Asayin, and he had to learn Musa. <laughs> so you get a perk. 
You know, now nah, you're alive, you know. When you have an Nisayan, you're forced. Now you're really learning Musa. Usually you learn to be from, to, you got to do it, it's a mitzvah. But something when you really need it, and you give yourself a perk, and you laugh at all your problems, make a joke out of them, you know. Then, then, I once saw an Avardiga who came out of base up did this. He was beaming. I says, what happened to you? you ready? He had a bacher over his house. And one of these bacherim that, you know, a bacher, I like bacherim, but some bacherim, whew, and that's what he did. He was smoking on the mattress, and the smoke, the, the uh, cigarette hit the mattress. And they all got out alive, but the house, including all his chedusha, I tell you, is a lambda nutsim, guy that this happened to him. And he walked out with his pajamas. And lost everything. And the, so you understand when you, such a thing happens, you got to learn Musa. Bali Musa have no trouble. You don't just start quetching and just, you got to learn Musa, cheer up. So he spent three hours learning Musa, probably not to be upset with the Bacha, not to worry about the money. There's a lot of things not to worry about the Chadushim. It's a lot of work. There's chazals. Every situation, get the right chazals and laugh it off. And have a lot of betachin and laugh. So he put in three hours of musa, he looked like a million bucks. Whenever a difficult thing happens, it activates Rabbi Miller. Activate, and a soyan activates. That makes you alive. Oh, let's fight it. And let's learn musa. You got to rebel against the matzah and not be scared of it. Okay. Now, I heard, you heard the later story. I went into one of the biggest shuls in Lakewood to give out my Betachem Weeklies. If you want, there's a few left. You can take this little bomb. This is my latest. Take anybody you want, you can take. Yeah, these all say, take it. This is for Pasha Samo already. If you want these, I'm married. They can develop. Betachem Shul, anybody you want. Now, I went into the shul. A guy comes over to me. He says, Mandel, he starts laughing. I got a story for you. I, I needed a nose job. Not stomach nose. You heard? I needed, it, I needed an operation. He needed an operation on his nose. And with a lot of work. And they pack in. The doctor has to pack in. You better hold it in place. And he was out of commission for three, four days. So he couldn't operate. So he couldn't do anything. So he turned on Torah any time. Turned me on. So after three, four days, his wife says, Turn off Mandel! <laughs> You're laughing so hard, you know the whole thing is going to mess up. <laughs> he told me this story. <laughs> Don't turn on Mandel, he's too funny. Isn't that good? I feel like a million bucks. Chaim! <laughs> anyway, everybody say. Any Hashem Fecho. By the way, I eat matzahs. I have Hasidic blood. You realize that? I like the Hasidic groups. I happen to like the Hasids. Uh, well, how do you pronounce it again? The, the Hasidics. You know? With the earlocks, they're sweet guys. I like the Hasid groups a lot. They're sweet as sugar. Especially since I'm one of them. Where I come from. I got messed up a little. The Litvox messed me up a little. No, no, I didn't mean that. I, didn't, I was joking. I was joking. You don't know. I have to be so careful these days. Every time I make a joke, I was joking. Because you don't know how people are these days. Did you hear what Mandel said? <laughs> 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 you got to watch. Anyway, so what was I talking about? Matzis. Oh, yeah, I eat matzis all the year round. Matzis is a big, I think my fair once mentioned, I think some chassidim eat all the way to shvuas all year round. Matzis give amuna and they give health. Mechodas vosa, that's health. Mechel de Mehe Manusa, the Zayah says, gives a Muna, so go for it. So I don't have to learn so much Musa. Eat matzah. But a real Bar Musa would say, no, 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 no. <laughs> learn Musa. To, uh, but I do both, you know, just in case. Anyway, so I eat a lot of that matzah. How did I get into it? Anyway, so. That was a joke. Who? Was a joke. What about the matzahs? I eat. You definitely go for it. It's a Zayah. Against you? Yeah, it brings Anova. A matzah means Anova. 
I want to tell you, if you're a Tomim, you'll get anything out of that matzah. If you believe it, I tell you my latest vote. That was just Machadish today. Yaakov is Tom Yoshev Holland. What's going on here? You're Harvard, you're learning Yom Belayla, and your Vax Dois Tom? Yes. The best Madriga in the world is to be a Tom. You gotta sit in Harvard all your life to be a Tom. A Tom is a person that has betachen, that's not afraid, that's not worried. He's a Tom. Abish told, take care. That's a Tom. So you gotta Harvard learning! And take that Musa safer. You know, it was like that Rabaran. Ach, Rabaran. He had Tamimus, Rabaran. You know, he once did it's a great story. I heard this from a Rebda. That's all. There was a Arab attack. Dershowitz. One of the Dershowitzes. Rabbi Yitzhak Dershowitz, Zeichat Tzadik, Amrach, my dear friend. His chus yegan lein, yishav, big aliyah, and yana, and all that. Tzadik, yishay, deilam. He, we used to have Purim together. It's interesting. One Purim we didn't have, he was nifta shine. So he was, he, his uncle, at his chasana in Yerushalayim. There was some minute they weren't, they didn't do, I don't know, something there. And the next minute there was an Arab attack. And the place went berserk. Baruch Hashem, nothing happened, but they were going crazy. Someone saw a baron alone, talking to the Eibishta. Eibishta. Hab, ich betach. Let me live a little more. I'll, I'll learn good. I'll do a lot to Klai Yisrael. Please let me live a little longer. Please don't let, let them get me. Hear that? Hear that? And somebody who knew Rabaran told me that was him. He talked to the Avishta. Avishta, please let me live. He chopped the schmooze with the Avishta. Tom, please let me. Rabbi Yenison Steif, my father told me the story, a delicious story. Father, Chosia Galeem. Rabbi Yenison Steif had a man secretary. I like that part of the story, Grada. <laughs> That's the, my favorite. I don't know, chas v'shol, Everybody's good. Everybody's shem shemayim. You know, it's always, okay, whatever. But he had a man secretary over there, and he used to sit and learn. Myonish Yishtayv was a goyim oilam. There's a picture with him and Rabarin killing each other and learning. He held his own. Myonish Yishtayv, you know, he was, ooh, Anyway, the of Budapest, no? Anyway, so he, my father, told me, that the secretary, the Bacha, was the secretary. And Ibnus and Steif was suddenly, he was in the middle of learning or whatever, suddenly he jumped up. He did something wrong. He felt he had a machshab or whatever. He ran to a corner. He says, Ebeste, ich will brav sein. Brav in German, it's a German Jewish. Brav means I'll behave. It's a lush, I'll behave. I'll be good. It's like a little kid talking. Brav. When they tell little kids, it's like a bravi, bravi yingle, whatever they call them. Brav is like a little bubbler that's going to behave himself. He says, hey, Bishta, I'm going to behave. I promise you, I'm going to behave. No? What do you say to that story? Ah. I don't know what he did wrong, whatever, but the way he talked, with chapash moves, ha, I'll be good. Give me a chance. <laughs> Get friendly with Hashem. Chapesh Muzim, nothing like it. Anyway, Abyssal Tamimus. So I wanted to say, Yashiv I haul him! He harvin and learning Yaakovino is the biggest mask in the world. Oh, he's Gavach Natam! That's called Gestigen Elanen, the Briskarov. I told everybody how I became a Bal Musa. It's all from Brisk. <laughs> That's why I love this. I heard it from an ain't called Rabbi Rucham Gerelik, the famous Briska family. That the first week, Rabbi Rucham Gerelik was in Brisk. He remembers the Briska Rav pacing back and forth for hours learning Musser. Hashem, but real hardcore Musser, the same Pasuk, oh no. Like they did in Nevada, exactly. So that's how he got Shittas. Who was Makar Mita Musser? It's the Briska oil. Oh, that's where he got my Musser from. From the Briska Rav, that's where... That's why I'm about Musa. Thanks to the brisk. <laughs> Is that a good one? Brisk, brisk made me about Musa. I want to thank Brisk for being Makar me to Musa. What about I had to get it to the body. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, where am I up to? 
I'm going to tell you some stories. Something happened. A boy was deathly ill. The parents called me up. Andel, this is bad news. The boy, a young kid, suddenly conked out. And he's all nervous and this. He forgot everything. He's not functioning. He can't talk. He's not eating for who knows how long, for weeks, whatever. He's out of commission. He's finished. And and he's mamish. He, he's a layman in Germany. He, they put him on the phone and he started crying, could barely audible. And he was getting worse and worse every minute. And the parents called me up. What do we do with this kid? I said, do you know what? I once heard Rav Hutna do this on the telephone. Do you know what Lahada means? Tell him in my name, Lahada. That means, Lahoyu Dvarim Me'olam. Do you know what Lahada means? Okay, so I did that with this, this father who called me up about his kid. Rabbi, do you know what Lahada means? A Chashavi and Gaman, large family. Do you know what Lahada means? Your child is perfect. Right after Mandel said it, for the first time the kid got up. Fell back. A few minutes later, the kid got up again. Fell back. Okay. But you saw, it's already doing something. Anyway, they were so happy. Man, they got the Malboyfus Mandel on the phone. <laughs> and the kid said, uh, by the way, he has, there's a 15-year-old brother over there that insisted he wants to talk to me. And I says, what does this guy want from me? Please let my son talk to you. He wants to talk to you. Why does he want to talk to me? He says he wants to be able to tell his friends that he, that he, he spoke to Mandel. <laughs> <laughs> Is that great? So all his friends he spoke. That's, that's, a, that's the best part of the story. Anyway. Get celebrity. Get celebrity. Must have sat there. And Mandel's his mic and the kid's getting better. And two days later, they call me up. Mandel, the kid's in ICU. Bob Mifus. What happened to your Mifus? He's worse. He's in ICU. The doctors are going with sugar. And he's out. He's not functioning. It's Shreklach. I says, did you hear me say La Adam last time? I'm repeating. What's IC Shmu? I don't know what that is. <laughs> don't give me this garbage. Your kid's fine. And I screamed on the phone. And slowly but surely. Then, then the next time I called... The 15-year-old kid told me, um, Rabbi Mandel, I had the talk, and like you said, I was imagining things would get better and things got worse. So I says, that's a test from Shammai. Hashem wants to see. Are you going to fall for that? Oh, I see you. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, what's I see you? Make a bittle. Do it again. Anyway, the next day the kid is out of ICU. And but still they have to check this and they found swelling on the brain and this and that. But I said, okay, swelling, stussing, swelling's going down as we talk. I passed it. Anyway, the kid, but Shabbos, home for Shabbos. This Friday got a phone call, home for Shabbos, back to normal. My life is, but then I got a hold of the boy. The boy says, Rabbi Mandel, you Gavaldi. What a mypus. I says, no, no, no. It was your mypus. Now, I turned around and I says, Abish, do you know it was me? <laughs> but I don't want him to think like that. Every person has to feel it was me. Feel special. My father used to say, every person has to feel like he's a Ben Yachet. What time is it? Oh, 8.37. Good, have a watch. Anyway, I'm going to tell you, Vodka, but you say he's going to change your life forever. You ready for this? Rabbeinu Yaina, I'm going to two vettles. It's Ganid Natachlin, was worth being born. Hear this thing. There is a Rabbeinu Yaina in Shari Tshuva that says, Hamal b'nei chaver b'ram in l'chev g'lum haba. What's wrong with Hamal b'nei chaver b'ram? It's Ritzicha. It's Machog Zerishayna. Some say it's connected with Ritzicha. He holds it's connected. There's a Tysus in Seyta that it says a different shot. Why? Whatever. Um, he says, 
So it's Ritzicha. Zok to Rabbein Yehuda, a Reiteach gets Olam Abba. He's a bum, but he's getting Olam Abba. The Malba Ben Chavir Ram does not get Olam Abba. Does that make sense? If he's only Daima to Ritzicha, so why is he? Why is he worse? It's a Pella. Zok to Rabbein Yehuda. The Reiteach feels sorry what he did. He feels like two cents. I'm such a bum. You feel like a bum. You're sorry what you did. Olam Abba. The guy who's Mavaza Sama Barabim, not so terrible. No Elam Haba. So, all those people that are going around feeling, I'm no good, I'm a bum, I'm doing a virus, that's a ticket to Elam Haba. Keep it up. Keep feeling stressed out. <laughs> Keep feeling anxieties. You're better Elam Haba. You're stressed out. I'll tell you another about that I said. I spoke to a Rosh Hashiva who has them as 40 bachlam. They're good, good boys, they sit and learn, but they have Kedusha problems. Listen to this. I heard this from two people already. People with Kedusha problems are terribly depressed. The people on 12-step programs, you want what depression is? Meet them. Oh, they're like, shrekless. Depression, Kedusha. If you're weak over there, it kills your self-esteem worse than anything else. So, um, so I went at a time, why is it like that? They said, Chil Shabbos doesn't put you down the way this does. So I tell you why, it's serious stuff. And a lot of these people, Nebuchadnezzar, the Americana Harry's, they were raised, whatever it is, from whatever it is, it is. So I said, it's bad news in Yenavelt. So the Yavis, he gives a matana. He gives a special stress, special depression, a gift. Not in Sharbatid. Special stress. People in Kedusha, you get special stress that you feel like two cents. Now you got your Elam Haba. The stress will do the Don't Don't keep, uh, you know, try to get out of it. Shem <laughs> Yerachim. Don't say, I'm a Ben Elam Haba. I'm depressed. Don't do that. And tell me I said that. And don't blame it. I mean, I'm just saying it's a horror. Okay, that's all. Now I'll tell you one more boy. How much time? This is half of a fella. It's a Marsha in Tainus. Dab Ches. In Ches. He touches up a Gemara. I forgot the words of the Gemara. If you go with uh, the Masha, yeah, yeah, I'll find the Masha. One second. You got to see. But he, he brings them over here. I think he brings them. You got to see what he says. Uh, no, he, the way he reads it, in, it's, I'll just tell you what, what he says. He says like this. That never say, this Einish is coming to me. Watch out. Be so careful. I did something wrong. I'm getting paid back. I see things are going wrong. Don't do that! Ever! I deserve it. Never! You do that, you'll get exactly what you're afraid of. And it's your own fault. I'll tip that pillow something. Don't say, I deserve, I did something bad, and now I'm getting this. The Marsha says, you do that, it's your own fault. You'll get exactly what you're afraid of. And it's your own fault. Who told you to do that? Now, what I say is, what did Ram Gamaliel do? He got up on his feet when he was at Nachshol Shabbane. But Yam is almost drowning him. He got up, he says, no, I'm innocent. He said he's innocent. The waves disappeared and he saved his life because he said, I'm innocent. You go around all day long. Rav Shleim of Volba said, a person has to always be done himself. And he wasn't a Breslava. The rest of us are always saying that. So they're saying it everywhere. The rest of us are known for that. Be done yourself with cops close. Rav Shlomo Baba said the same thing. Be done yourself with cops close. Bug off. Leave yourself alone. You do that to someone else? You always knock you. I'm no well. I'm, no, but you don't understand. I'm no good here. I'm no good there. Anyway. So, that's the bot. Never put yourself down. The Yetzirah. To get depressed is the number one Yetzirah. Get rid of that Yetzirah. Don't put yourself down. Instead, write down, I know a younger man, that they wanted to do something to him. It's a true story. He was going to have a big, serious problem coming to him. The Yolim, whatever, they were out to get this guy. He sat down and he wrote a whole letter describing why he's innocent and why he's a tzaddik. And he didn't deal with people. 
don't deal with people. You got to fight with them. You got to finish with them. He dealt with the Abishter. He says, Abishter, I'm innocent for this reason, that reason. That. He didn't stand a chance that we're going to do something to him that you don't want to hear about. And right after he finished writing it, suddenly they all changed their minds. And not only that, he came out ahead. He wrote on himself a whole, he made, a, he's the lawyer. He became his own son, Eger. He said, I am innocent because of it. he had good zakhant. He said, oh boy, he has a lot of shivas. This guy, he said, you know what I did? I don't deserve that, he wished it, right? Right afterwards, he had Yeshua. How do you like that one? Never put yourself down. Stop looking for trouble. It's a marsha. Ches Samad Beis. You want to look it up? Ches Samad Beis. Look it up. The marsha. Here it is. Kol HaMatzik Es Adin. Al Atzmai Milmato. Matzik En Avadin. Milmala. What does he do? Lomer Al Kol Einish Habo Olov. Shebet Tzedek. Maybe Olov Hashem Einish Zeh. Did you hear that? I deserve it. Now I'm going to end up. I'll tell you tomorrow. This is the Chesam and Aleph on the bottom. You got to see this. Now, by the way, the way to Lashon is, is if you want to go with the truth, then you're dead. Don't go with the truth. Where Rachamim is. Din? Nobody can be Ahmed Ladin. But it's true. Don't give me this true business. If it's true, me Ahmed Lafanecha. Who could stand there? Who can stand? Nobody can be on the Ladin. You know what Chazal say about Ladin? Nobody is innocent. There's no such thing. You got to go with Rachamim. You got to say, well, I didn't really. Be Melitz Yeshua like the Belzer Rebbe. You know what the Belzer Rebbe said? And the Rebbechal Shabbos? It, it, he said, well, they skipped the Mishnah in Shabbos. On the Friday, they, they skipped that Mishnah. It's not that poor. Do that on yourself. Why not? I mean, don't be Bechal Shabbos, please. But. <laughs> You have to go extreme because the HR is going extreme. He's knocking you no matter what. He has no Rachmanis on you. You go extreme, yes, I'm innocent, bugger. You're allowed to do tshuva, by the way. It's not an Aveira. You'll be much happier. I want to talk about tshuva. There's nothing sweeter in the world than that, but it's not for now. We stop. But anyway, between now and Pesach and, and Shavuos, between now and Shavuos, Ani Hashem Reifecha, have a mind, you have a refuah sanefesh. Just have a mind. Fu ebish that one refuah sanefesh. Okay, next.